Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Backbone JS tutorial from scratch and this tutorial actually for perfect beginners and this is part 18th of this video session series. In our last video session we had discussed about collections in Backbone JS in which we have seen that how can we create our collection in Backbone JS and how can we iterate over elements that we have passed. So in this video session we are going to learn about collection events in Backbone JS in which we are going to see in two phases. First we will see in the first phase that what should be the method to add the model objects into a collection array and in the next stage we are going to see about that what are the methods that we will use to remove the collection objects sorry model objects from collection array. So let's get started with the adding model objects to a collection array. So this is the area that we are going to code. Here is the file that actually in this file we have done our backbone JS coding. And this is the file app.js. In app.js what we have did so far we have created a model in which we have created two different objects as you can see player1 and the player2. We have passed some attributes value to this model object player1 like name team and the number also we have passed for the player 2 object like name team and the number so now we are going to add this model object to our player player collection as you can see we have also declared a collection which contains basically the information of player model object okay so and also uh, we have instantiated our backbone collection with the help of this object now we are going to add these objects means player 1 and player 2 which we have created to this collection object. So to add our collection model objects that is player 1 and player 2 we use three different methods as you can see add, unsift and push. So let's get started with add method. Just copy your collection object. Just you need to write dot add and all you have to pass the model object which you have created like player1 okay just save this file so let's check what we have actually got the result after saving into browser so just copy this object dot to json so just go to browser and refresh the page once you refresh just click on this icon as you can see that we have passed one player information to this collection like player 1, number is triple 1 and the team is team A. So let's we pass the another model object that we have created like player 2. Just save your file and refresh your page. You could see that we have passed two model objects into its collection array. Just click on that and here are the informations that we have passed like player 1 and the player 2. Player 1 contains the values like name, number and the team and the player 2 information contains the same with different data. So one more thing guys you should keep in your mind that while using add method when we add any model object to our collection then it automatically appended at the end of array. As you can see that if you suppose just make comment of this let's save this file. Just click on that. As you can see that right now we have only one information of player 1. When we add up the second model object then it could take place at the last of this collection array. Just refresh this page. You can see that the player 2 information is automatically added to our collection array at the last point means at the last index. So this is the use of add method. By the help of add method, we can add our model object to our collection array. Okay guys, so if you want to add the player1 informations and the player2 informations in the same line, so we could also do that. Just make comment of that. Copy this object. All we have to do to make an array because we are going to pass the player1 object and the player2 object in the same line. So we need to make an array of model objects and we all we have to pass all two objects into that array. So we have done now. We have passed our two model objects into an array. Just save your file and refresh the page. 
Once you refresh, you could see that two model objects actually we have passed, and here are the informations that we got. Okay, so this is the basic use of add method to actually pass our model objects into a collection. Let's get started with unshift method. Just copy this object, paste it here, and you have to use unshift. All you have to pass the model object like player one. As we have created just save your file and refresh this page once you refresh just click on that you could see the informations of the model object that we have passed like player one team a and the triple one as its number so let's pass the another player two object to that just we have passed refresh your page once you refreshed just click on that you could see that the player two informations is added at the front of this collection array but in the last method that we have seen in the add up method then in add method when we add any model object then it has taken its place at the last index of collection array but right now by using unshift method it takes place at the front of its collection array so this is the basic difference guys between unshift method and add method okay so just you have to keep in your mind while using unshift method and add method so also if you want to add one object and two objects all of in the same line just make an array of that just comment of that and all you have to do to pass all those model objects into an array so we have passed all objects into an array just save this file and refresh your page just click on that as you could see that player 1 and the player 2 informations we got okay because we have passed player 1 and the player 2 informations now we are going to see about the third event that is going to actually add up the model objects into collection that is post method just make comment of that just copy this object again dot post method all we have to pass the model object that we have created okay now i'm going to pass player one just refresh your page once you refresh you could see the information of player one now we are going to add the second object that we have created like player 2. Now refresh your page. Once you refresh, you could see that the player 2 information is added at the last index of its collection array. Means there is no basic difference between add and push method. In add method as well as in push method, all the elements that we add to the collection array, it automatically takes the place at the last index. But while using unshift method, it actually takes the place at the front of this collection array. So this is the guys the basic difference between add, unshift, and the push method. Okay, just get rid of this and make it in one single line. It creates or it inserts the object at last index but unshift method takes place at front okay so this is the basic difference and now we are going to pass this model object into the array just copy this and make comment of that all you have to get rid of this and making array and turn we can pass the two different model objects into an array just save this file and refresh the page. You could see the same result that we have got. Okay, now guys, let someone ask from you that how can we insert the model object at a predefined place? As you have seen that how can we actually insert the model object into collection array at the front of collection array as well as at the end. But if you want to insert the model object into some specific position, then in that condition, what we actually do? so for that point of view we actually use the add condition means we have to pass the condition conditional specific position we actually we want to insert that so let's get started with that just go up and make an another model object like player number three okay just copy this code and paste it here it's player number three player number three and it's team c and here is something number like triple three okay now I'm going to add dot add. Now I'm going to player one in this model. Okay. 
suppose get rid of this cut make an array and it's player 2 okay we have added two different model objects for now player 1 and the player 2 and just save this file once you refresh you could see that we have added two different model objects for now now we are going to add our player thin formations between these two model objects means we want that at zeroth positions player 1 information will be there at position 1 player 3 information will be there and at the position 2 the player 2 information will be there okay so to do that actually we have to use just get rid of this or you could say about player 3 okay and all you have to do use at and you want that player thin formations will be means take place at the position 1 okay so now we have passed player thin formations or model objects into this collection array and also we have specified that at what positions we are going to add this model object means at position 1 we are going to add player thin formations to this collection array so just save your file and go to browser refresh your page once you refresh just click on that and as you could see uh, about the output that the player thin formations has taken place at the plus one positions means the one index the player thin formations actually occurred so by the help of guys at means this is the point actually which denotes that at what positions you are going to add the model object and we have used the add method so accordingly you can use about unshift method as well as push method and also if you want to specify the positions you should use the add point okay so now we are going to move on the second phase that remove pop and the shift method so just make comment of that and also left for that now so now we are going to use first that is remove method basically guys these all methods that you can see remove pop and save these all methods are basically used to remove or means get rid of the model objects from collection array simply we use to remove the model objects from and collection array so just we are going to use first remove method so here what we have did we added three different model objects as you can see that player one player two and the player three all the informations we have actually added to this collection object okay and this is the output as you could see as the console okay now we are going to remove the player one information from this model of collection array okay so just copy this object paste it here and you have to use remove all you have to pass the model object which actually we want to remove I want that the player information should be removed from this collection array okay now we have removed to see our result just copy this and paste it here here we got actually the expected result and after removing the player one informations from this array we got the result here so just save your file and refresh your page you could see that at the first positions we have actually saved our model objects that is player one three and the two but in the second result you could see that we have removed the player model object from our array so this is the very basic use guys remove method in which we have to pass the model object which actually you want to remove from the collection array okay now i'm going to use the second map event like pop so just come in this code all you have to copy this object write pop and all done you don't need to pass any model object within this event okay so just save your file and refresh your page once you refresh in the first output the player 3 information player 1 player 3 and the player 2 this is the expected result what actually we get from this array okay and now after removing an element model object from our collection array let's see what happened actually player 1 and the player 3 by using pop method it actually removes the last index from the collection array you could see that the player 2 information does not exist anymore in this array meaning we have removed the last index of collection array by using pop method so this is very basic use of guys pop method in which if you want to remove the last index of our collection array then we should use the pop method
okay and by using remove method you could actually pass the model object which actually you wants to remove from the collection array okay now we are going to see the next method that is shift just make comment of that copy this object again and paste it here just you have to write shift okay all we have done now we have used the shift method just refresh your page once you refresh you could see the expected results of the first output like player 1 player 3 and the player 2 now just click on that we can see that the player 3 information exists okay and the player 2 information exists okay but the player 1 information does not exist anymore what actually it indicates that while using shift method it removes the first position element from the array but while using pop method it actually removes the last index of the collection array so this is the very basic difference between guys shift method as well as pop method pop method removes the last index and the shift method removes the first index from the collection array so guys by this help video we have skin can see that we have used our add post and shift methods to actually add our model objects to collection as well as we have seen about the removing methods of to remove the model objects from collection array where we have used remove pop and the shift method so let's recap of this video session before closing this video add method basically add the element or you may say model object to our collection array okay guys and it automatically inserts the element at the last index of our collection array and the push method does the same thing what actually add method does but unshift method inserts the model objects at the front of the collection array it is something different from these two events okay guys so you have to keep in your mind that while using add and push you are going to add your model objects at the last index of your collection array but while using unshift method you are, you are going to add the model object at the front of your collection array and what we have read actually about these events remove method basically used to remove the element from model object but uh, uh, but we have to actually pass the model object means which model actually we want to remove our collection array while while using pop method it actually removes the last index of our collection array while using shift method it automatically removes the first index from our collection array so this is the very basic difference between pop and shift Okay guys so by this by the help of this video sessions we have learned about the different mode collection events about insertions as well as deletions of model objects into our collections so in our upcoming videos means in the next video session we are going to see about the more collections events in backbone chase so guys if you are beginner from this video session then i strongly recommend you to go to youtube type online web tutor where you can find the playlist of backbone chase tutorial and read from scratch and we have made these video sessions guys for absolute beginners okay so if you haven't subscribed to our channel guys then please do subscription to our youtube channel and also if you have any query about this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day